Right, today, today. Hello, chicken. Look, baby's now. Some shots in the back now. All 14 of them. We'll go feed chicken, I think. And today we're going to make some chicken fodder if I can find a bucket. <coughs> chicken fodder full of geese and chickens. Or silkies. Get some food. I need to get some food. I brought the trough. And we'll feed the geese in a minute. Cause I have a little grip bin now. Look, I've opened that bit up for them, so they can go in there. But they've emptied the pond where they've been splashing about in it. So I'm gonna get those pipe on go. I'm gonna fill that pond up there for them. That one and that one. And if we look in here, if we can see in. Yeah. How can we see it? There's a goose sat on eggs. I don't know how many she sat on. I don't know when they're due to watch, but keep tuned for the geese and the goslings. There's Gary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they've got all that now. Let's put like a little fence up there, look. Hey, Gaz, how's it going, my odd mate? You friendly bugger, you. Nice. Let's get on with the chicken fodder. We need a bucket first. Find a bucket. Tell you what, we'll have a look for some eggs first. Oh, we've got some eggs there. We've got some eggs there. Eggs there. No eggs in there, though. Eggs is eggs. <laughs> Plenty of eggs. Right, bucket. I reckon this will do. Let's turn this upside down. Right. Chicken fodder. So we make chicken fodder. This is just normal corn from farm. Put that in there. I'm gonna put some fresh water in there. But there's a bit of chicken poo on that. You need some bleach. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking bleach. Can't put bleach on it, you poison them. But it doesn't. Right, let's get the lid off. Right, all we need is a couple of squirts. That's it. And what that'll do is when I fill it up with water, that'll stop some of the, the seed going mouldy. So obviously we're gonna wash it, we're gonna fill this up with water. And then we're going to wait till this starts sprouting. Well, we're just, at the minute, we're just going to let it swell up and leave it for a day or so. Then we put in our trays that we've got here, look. And then, so I've done, just say, two trays there. Then in three days, I'll do another two trays. <coughs> then another three days, I'll do another two after three trays. So I've got like a continuous circle going. And what it does is, um, instead of the chickens just eating the corn, and getting that and not get well they will get some nutrition out of it but not as much as they can when we do this because when we do this remember it's going to grow the root which will be able to digest quicker it's going to grow the um the green bit of the corn like the grassy bit and it's still going to have the um bit of corn on it so they get the best out of all worlds and it's good for them especially geese because they're grazers so they're like grazing on grass and things like that and if you're sitting there, they've ate it all, so that'll do geese a world of good. So all I'm going to do now is fill that up, leave it for free, well, a couple of days, put it in my trays, then do it again, same process. And what I'll put it on is this, this rack here. I'll make some um, shelves for it and just keep alternating it. So, yes, come on, bring on the chicken fodder. Let's do it. Look what I found on the scrap pile outside garden, look. Do you reckon if I dig it in a bit, geese will like that? We shall see. Ooh, swimming pool. 
Right, just to make it look a bit nicer, I've got this panel here. Just wondering if it'll fit there where that post is. And there, then maybe make a little gate there to get into the geese. Let's have a look. Come on. Yeah, look at that, meant to fit. A couple of nails in that. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna move that white thing. I'm not gonna put it up. I'm not gonna fill it up just yet. So I need to dig it into the floor. So, geese and chickens don't get stuck in it. That's the last thing we want. So, I'm gonna move it down here for now. Gary, stay there. You little turd. Gary, behave yourself. Gary, behave yourself. You little shit. I'm gonna put this down here for now. I'll tell you what I could do. Cut a hole out of this and make it into a little thing for her. She might want to nest, I'm not sure if she's laying say, eggs with this other one. So, let's make her a little bit, a little dinner. Yeah. I should keep them happy for a bit. Two little ponds there, then I'm going to bury that one into the ground a wee bit so they can go in there and have a splishy splash. I'll get rid of that sink, there's no need for that now. I might just bury it, make it, make a little a nano pond down there for frogs and stuff actually. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do with that, a nano pond. So now what? I think I'm going to bag all this rubbish up. What we've dug out at beds, look. Dug, dug, dig. There you go. No use talking and chatting poop. Get on with it, lad, as Grandad would have said. Splish bass, Carrie's having a bath. Do love it, Gar? Love it, Gar? Go on, idea. Not shoes for pigeons. I'm going to make this into a little box for Gabby's missus. There's one goosey sat in there, and if she wants to make a nest, there's no well. I don't know if they'll like nest close together, so I'm going to make this into a little nest box for her. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, there's my box. As you can see, it used to be a, a little chicken coop. So, that bit can be for the door. I'm just going to find some ear for back just to cover it up and I think I know where there's something perfect. Come on. There, look, can you see it yet? That looks about right size, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Come on, give it off, lad. Off. Voila, look at that. The new goose shed for other one. Lovely job. Let's have a quick look in here. Oh, it looks like that one's been laying there, look, oh well, but look. Hello, Mother Goose. Don't worry, I'll leave you alone. Leave the bee. So. Ooh, she gonna go check it out? I think she might like it. I think she might like it. Oh wait, Carol, just let me out. No, I'm going down here. Gary, get off, you little bugger. Geese sorted. Right. The head you've seen better days. Look. The head you've seen better days, so what I have done, what have we've done. Chop some of it back. This is going up there. And I'll show you in a second, because you can't see and I've only got two hands. Right, we are... Losing light. There's my corn all soaking away. Obviously a little tiny bit of bleach that just keeps the mould away. There's my little tray of things. I'm going to put some more shelves on there. And you'll see on the next video. On the next. So keep tuned for another part of Jabs Allotment. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>